welcome to Tiger Tutorials. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to get a website up and running and how to create a simple home page for that website. And then you can then create uh, some more advanced um, things off of that page. Uh, so before I start getting into uh, how to actually get your website up and running, I want to go over real quick how, to, uh, how the internet actually works. Uh, so I have a real simple drawing of a server, your laptop, a modem, and the whole concept of hosting. Um, one of the things about hosting and uh, websites is that you have the hosting aspect and then the um, domain name aspect. So let me open up the uh, agenda real quick as far as I'm going to be showing you today. And um, you have a thing called a hosting account and a domain name account. Um, hosting is what I'm going to be showing you right now. So you, you have the, first of all, the, the internet is a collection of different servers and computers um, relaying, retrieving, and giving out information. Um, and servers are just more sophisticated computers uh, that are built for um, serving information out, hence the name server. Um, and they serve out files or um, packets of information to your modem and then the in, in, uh, intranet um, connection within your house. So I have a real simple drawing of a server here, and um, what you're basically paying for is a, a slot in the server here. They have a bunch of different servers in their building, and they being the hosting company, I'm using fatcal.com, and they have your website running on a, uh, a little s uh, slide here. Um, they're called blades, and the blade um, sends information upon user's um, query upon the user's interaction with your site. So um, as soon as someone open a, opens up your website, it sends packets of information um, from your server to the modem here and then to the um, person's laptop. So I'm going to show you real, this blue here. Uh, the information gets sent. Um, this is a file. Okay. And the file is sent in packets to the modem and the modem then retrieves the information and this core is just to illustrate the internet is plugged into the laptop but usually the laptop is plugged in the modem or if you have 3G or 4G etc it goes directly from the laptop to the server like that so when someone clicks on something it then sends it back to the modem the modem then sends its waves out gets to the server sends the file back it's like a recycling. It goes back and forth, back and forth. Uh, and that's how a basic internet works. Um, so, um, what, I'm, what I'm going to show you next on the agenda, um, I've already shown you how to make an how, to, how the internet works. Uh, the second thing I'm going to show you is how to set up a website. Uh, when I wanted to set up a website, I had no idea. Uh, one of the mistakes I did is I, I bought a domain name, and usually you can get um, tricked into buying domain names that are like five bucks, but what you're just buying is the name. You're not actually buying the hosting. So you can't just throw up a name and expect something to happen. So with with me already illustrating what hosting does, um, I think it's apparent to you that um, that is the most important aspect of having a site. Um, what I've used, what I'm using currently is fatcow.com. Uh, what you do is you go to fatcow.com um, you click on their their name, I think they have a, the home page, and you just set up account, set up an account. Uh, it's like thirty five bucks, forty bucks. Um, I think mine was eighty, and um, I'm gonna go over what the pros and cons of different hosting sites are. Um, there's I think hundreds and hundreds of hosting sites. You can just pick the right one. Just like query up here, hosting sites real quick on Google and you'll come up with thousands of results and you click on the one that you want. There are also free one, free hosting sites but they don't offer um, domain names. You need to pay for your own domain name. Uh, with FatCal, when you register your hosting site, you get a, do a domain name and a hosting spot. Um, you can do a domain name on one site and then add it to the hosting on another, um, but it, it does create some hassle. And I would advise you to go uh, the more expensive uh, route and uh, FatCal definitely fulfills um, that criteria. I'm not advertising for them or anything, but it is a really good um, hosting solution. 
Uh, so once you sign up for Fat Cow or any other uh, website of such sort that offers hosting and or a domain name, um, in particular for hosting, you're going to get name servers. And um, your name servers are um, server positions that send your uh, website out. Um, so NS1 is your first server and NS2 is your second server. Um, I'm going to have a tutorial in Dreamweaver how to set up your site, but you're going to be entering, I think it's FTP in there, and then your user information. Um, you might have already heard of the DNS, which is Domain Name System, and that's like a database for the internet, and um, it stores website IPs that correlate to um, like Google.com, my site's 6525, whatever you see here. Um, this website IP um, translates to TigerTutorials.com, vice versa. Um, so with this information here, um, you can set up your website uh, through Dreamweaver uh, with ease. Um, sometimes it's harder to extract this information from different websites, but I would highly advise calling uh, the people that work with this um, kind of thing on your hosting situation. Um, I might have not explained that um, in the best of ways, but uh, you can give me an email from my website, tigertutorials.com, and I will get to you as, uh, as soon as I can. Um, another thing that is important um, are scripting languages and as far as like what you want to do with your website. And um, I've just created some basic languages here that you can maybe uh, take a look at. Um, and I'm going to go through them real, real quick. Um, HTML is the um, the only way the websites can be displayed in um, Firefox or um, Internet Explorer or Opera. Um, it's the uh, internet application. Um, so this is all HTML here, and different languages actually manipulate the HTML to display different things. Um, CSS is another thing that, that displays, um, that actually renders different things in the web. You'll, you'll be able to see it. Um, so it displays text, images, movies, and other elements, like JavaScript. Um, calls upon certain scripts to execute statements, so like PHP, MySQL, Perl, JavaScript, Ajax. Um, CSS controls background color, size, location, position, text wrapping, text color. Um, and this, this um, it changes the HTML. It's kind of hard to talk about right now, but when I, when I get to the actual creating a website part, I can show you. Um, it cannot display text. Um, it only mo modifies existing objects within the HTML. Um, as far as like what you want to do with your website, uh, MySQL is a database where you can store um, users' information, like login, photos, movies, music, text, etc. Um, and the queries that you put in there, like the select statements, insert statements, those are all SQL statements. Uh, they're simple and, and they're their own, so you don't really need to go out of your way to learn something like that. So MySQL is um, a really good solution, especially for um, fatcow.com. Um, they offer a really simple way to connect to MySQL, and they have really good solutions. Um, different web uh, hosts have um, different uh, different niche niches that they can um, offer, and um, FatCow.com really emphasizes MySQL, Perl, and PHP. So if, if you're one of those types of people that uses that, um, I would highly suggest FatCow.com. Oh, and they also give you 75 bucks, AdWords, all this other stuff here. So it's really nice. And they, have, they have all these different things. Um, getting off track, uh, PHP is used for blogs, login websites, online shopping store. It establishes connections with MySQL, um, and it can only be used statically. So you're not going to see anybody creating games with PHP because uh, it is a server-side language. And let me get it real quick. Um, so PHP is declared within... Um, little tags like this with your HTML. PHP itself is never seen by the user on their web browser. It can only, it's processed through the server and sends information to the, um, the laptop. So information goes in, the PHP manipulates it, 
puts it into HTML format, sends it to the modem, modem sends it to the laptop, the laptop sends it back, um, and it goes in a recycling cir uh, goes in a circle. Um, and that's why it's server side, because it, it only happens in the server and it doesn't go over here. HTML, JavaScript, they all happen at the laptop, the modem, depending on the user, what they do, what they click, how they do it. So you can't, you know, you can't have like an up, updated game. Games won't work because they only happen here. Um, but PHP is very, very powerful language. Uh, you can make blogs, like I said, um, all these different things. PHP is used in conjunction with JavaScript, and that's kind of what Ajax is, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, I personally like PHP the most. It is, I mean, it's, um, it's well documented on the internet. You can really find a lot of information about it. Um, it's my personal favorite. Uh, the next thing I kind of uh, saw before was Perl. I think it, it's kind of developed in conjunction with uh, PHP. Um, they correlate. Uh, you're you're going to find a lot less tutorials and information on Perl. So, and for that reason, I wouldn't advise using Perl, but PHP and Perl are definitely the same. Um, the only good thing about Perl is I'm not sure if it's server I don't think it's server side. Um, because you can run it in command, command line, um, which you just type in CMD and start menu on a uh, PC, and that's what the command menu is. Uh, but it has emphasis on tech, on quick text processing, um, and it, I, I put here it's not server sided, but I'm not sure about that. <laughs> uh, JavaScript is like animation to a website, changes click statuses, so it can be like a hover, or it can be um, a focus on a click, etc. Can make games out of it, so it's a really fun language. But I personally do not know a lot about it, and I'm still trying to learn it. Um, Ajax is like the ultimate of all these different languages. So what Google uses, this is what top websites use. This is definitely the best language to learn as far as putting stuff on your website, and I would highly suggest it. Um, it itself is not a language; it's just a, a com combination of JavaScript, HTML, PHP database language, you know, there's done, done, done a bunch of different um, databases that you can use. MySQL is my example, and um, CSS is also um, Ajax. Um, like I said, it's most advanced, produces impressive results. Um, results including, like if, if you go to Google, um, and you have like the instant search here, when I type in Google's, there's instant search here. That is Ajax. It's retrieving information from the server and displaying it in real time. Um, an example of JavaScript would be, um, say I wanted this Google image to like move around, that would be JavaScript. What are the other languages? Uh, PHP and Perl, they would be retrieving information from the database and displaying it on the web page. MySQL is the actual database. Um, Google actually made their own database called a Big Table. And, um, it's made through C++, etc. Look at that on the, on the internet. Uh, CSS would control the position of the elements, like how this Google thing here was, and how that was displayed. Go to um, view page style, no style, you'll see CSS really made a difference on the page. Um, uh, HTML, like I said, everything has to do with HTML. Without HTML, you wouldn't have any links. Um, the website would be worthless. You, you can only do things with HTML. Uh, so those are the overviews of languages. I think it's really important that you establish a firm connection with what languages that you want so you can um, specify your needs as far as what your website's going to support and how you're going to go about doing it. Um, in the next section, this is part one, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a simple page on your website. So check out part two and make sure you go to tigertutorials.com and you will find uh, full textual tutorials and video tutorials on various subjects.